Hello to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. Today's tarot reading is a yes or no pick a card. So you can ask whatever question you'd like of the divine, your angels, your ancestors. Ask it aloud, ask it in your mind, however you feel comfortable. But go ahead and ask your question and then select intuitively to get your answer. Now, please remember that these are general readings. There are some very specific messages in this one. So congratulations to some of you on, on the things that you're asking about. But just please remember they're general readings and these are, you know, my interpretations of the cards. Now, for pile selection or reading selection, we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. Go ahead and select intuitively however you wish. If you would like, I will lead a short breathing exercise to help you hone in with your intuition. So we can begin that now by closing your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, asking your question. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three, slowly release. Now, one of the cards or a number between one and five may just pop into your mind. If that happens, select that reading. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds, one, two, three, slowly release. Now, when you're ready, open your eyes and select the reading that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. All right, for reminders, we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. Go ahead and select the reading that you're drawn to by your intuition and use the timestamps in the comments and description to jump ahead. I will see you there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number one with the red jasper. Your first message of the reading is to take action. So you probably know where that action needs to be. And, uh, and you're definitely going to be needing to take action for whatever it is you're asking Tarot about. Now, let's take a look and get your yes or your no to start off your reading. So, hold your question in your mind. Ask it of your spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Now, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, please answer clearly through the cards. Yes or no for group number one. All right, you start with the Nine of Wands, then the Two of Cups, the Hermit, the Four of Cups, and finally, the Seven of Cups. All right, so this looks like a no to whatever you ask, Tarot. You um, have a better option coming in. Some of you are asking about relationships. You're asking about soulmate relationships. You know, is this person my soulmate? And the answer is your soulmate's coming. You know, th this, is not, this is not your soulmate. Um, I'm sorry. 
if if you really hoped for a yes because this this is not it you've got the seven of cups saying that you've got a better option out there in the future better than whatever it is you asked harrow about so you should wait for your better option this one's going to have this this particular situation there is taking a really strong position that can cost you a sacrifice they're spending lots of time alone with the hermit and there's some boredom and wishing for what you what you wish you had over what you do have in the four of cups so it whatever you ask tarot the answer is no this is not the right option for you there is something better coming now let's see what the angels have to add to your reading so angels using the angel inspiration deck please add whatever's for the best benefit of group number one generosity all right so you're being told hey this this no that you're getting it is going to lead you to something that is the angels pouring out their generosity on you okay so this seven of cups talks about a beautiful option the option that is coming you just need to wait for it and it is it is a beautiful generosity from the universe from the angels whatever belief system you have generosity is being poured out for you so this is it, it's a good thing now let's take a look and see what the spirit guides have to say for take action because you're told to take action but then you got to know and so maybe the action is moving on um i don't know let's see what the spirit guides have to add for that red jasper right there ask for guidance all right so your action is to ask for guidance it's to ask your masters teachers your soul family whatever you know wherever you feel guided to go ask for guidance and you're going to receive it now from moonology for this nine of wands the nine of wands was taking a really strong position somewhere that's costing you a sacrifice what is there to add about this strong position all right luck is on your side so this the no that you got is really it, it's a good thing it is the best option coming for you now let's see for the boredom in the four of cups the energy is gaining momentum okay and you know what i want one for the hermit too have faith in your dreams okay yeah this like you many of you are asking about a relationship with the two of cups here soulmate relationship because the two of cups is the soulmate relationship that relationship is coming for you but it's not the one you're asking about okay you need to have faith that what you actually want is out there what you're looking for is out there and it's headed to you okay it is on its way to you you just have to be patient and wait for it to come in now from queen of the moon i would like something for this two of cups this soulmate relationship this partnership beauty all right so there is a beautiful soulmate relationship headed in for many of you if you're already in a relationship this is talking a lot about relationships um this is talking about you know a soulmate for for many of you so it's but take whatever resonates if even if i haven't mentioned it it's still a no to whatever you asked tarot it's a wait for the best option now for this seven of cups which is waiting for the best option faith okay you're being told to have faith that it is coming faith 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 so the best option is coming for you what the universe wants you to have what you want to manifest is on its way so just be patient just because it's not this right here in front of you not what you were hoping for in this moment doesn't mean you don't have something absolutely beautiful headed straight for you now the generosity that's being poured out for you let's see what the spellcaster oracle says. it's freedom all right so you are free you're being set free you have wonderful options headed for you you did get a no to whatever you asked tarot so let go of whatever it is that you are uh, kind of clinging to and don't make sacrifices you don't need to you've got good things coming you just need to have faith now let's see what the little starseed deck has to add channel 
you are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. Okay. So you are bringing beauty into the world. You deserve this relationship for those of you that are asking about relationships. You deserve this beautiful two of cups relationship. It is beautiful. You just have to wait a little bit for it to come through. Ooh, light. It's time to reveal your radiant light to the world. All right. And one more, please. Love. Live your truth and share the love that's in your soul. All right. You have love headed for you, okay? Right now, you have freedom. Freedom is the generosity that's being poured out on you. You are free to be yourself, to, you know what? I was trying to put that deck away and one more card jumped out. Transcendence. All right, you're told to transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. All right, so you are, you received a no, and many of you were hoping for a yes. Many of you were asking about relationships. This relationship is not the one. Um, the one that you're looking for is coming. Right now, your freedom is your gift from the universe. Channel in some healing energy. Spread your light. Live your truth. Let love abound. Ask for guidance. And this beautiful Two of Cups is headed your way. All right, that is all I have for reading number one today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number two. With the garnet, your first message of the reading is to ignite your passion. So whatever you're passionate about, you need to really dive into that, whether it's a creative passion, you know, whatever type of passion it is, ignite your passion, give yourself an outlet. Now let's take a look at your yes or your no. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the cards, yes or no to the, an to the questions of group number two. All right, so we start off with a page of swords, then strength, that's beautiful. Ooh, the knight of coins, so opportunities coming in. The three of swords, all right. And the final outcome, the 10 of swords, all right. This looks like a no to whatever you asked Harrow. Um, you've got the Page of Swords coming out, which talks about someone paying extra close attention to you. Um, this is just, you know, someone really, really watching. And then you've got strength, which means you've got plenty of strength for whatever you're going through. There's new opportunities coming in, so that's beautiful with the Knight of Coins. But then you've got heartbreak and something ending. So... You know, and this ending, it may even be surprising, but uh, this this is definitely a no to whatever you asked, Hero. Now, let's see what the angels have to add to your reading. So, angels, for the best benefit of group number two, what do you have to add to this reading? Archangel Uriel. Okay, Archangel Uriel is the Archangel of Wisdom. So you're being told here that something is ending and there's going to be a little bit of heartbreak in it, but there is a wisdom from the universe as to why. There's a reason that this has to end. There's new opportunities coming in and you are plenty strong enough for what you're going through right now. So just call out to Archangel Uriel. He's there to support you. He's got wisdom and you know can, can really help to guide you. Now, spirit guides, they were told to ignite their passion with the garnet. Please add whatever message you have for that, where their passions need to be ignited. All right, calm is not a weakness. So it's, it's not bad to be calm, but you need to let your passions, you know, whether they're creative, whether they're you know, personal, whatever they are, your passions, they need to come out. So your calmness is not a weakness. Don't look at your calmness as a weakness, but let your passions really 
fly. You know, let let yourself do what it is you want to do. Be who it is you want to be. Now, there are a lot of swords, and I think I want Moonology for all the swords, please. So, from the Page of Swords, this paying attention and watching closely. What's going on there? All right, your commitment is being tested. Okay, so you guys are working towards something. The heartbreak in the Three of Swords. The energy is gaining momentum. All right, so you guys already know what this heartbreak is. You're already going through this heartbreak. The good news is it's it's almost over. Now, the ending in the Ten of Swords. A win-win outcome is forecast. Okay, so yeah, you got to know. Yeah, something's ending, and it's a little bit heartbreaking. That being said, it's going to a good place. There is a win-win coming out of this, and that's where this Knight of Coins is coming in. It it it's a coin so it's normally resource related like a new job that sort of thing but in this instance i think it's just the opportunity like this is a very broad group who have got lots and lots of different questions so this is just opportunity in whatever segment you're talking about now from queen of the moon i would like to see about this knight of coins here beginnings. All right. So you are at the new beginning of something. Every time something ends, something new starts and you're at the beginning. So you have the strength. I would like, um, you know what? We'll, we'll get queen of the moon for the strength card too. protection. All right. So you are strong enough and you're protected. Everything is going to be okay. Just because you got a no to what you asked Tarot doesn't mean things are not going to work out in your favor. Things are going to work out in your favor because you have a win-win outcome forecast. So this new beginning is going to be good for you, even if it doesn't seem so right now. Now, for Archangel Uriel, let's pull a spellcasting oracle. Compassion. All right. So compassion is being poured out on you from the angels. There is heartbreak that you have to deal with, and that's unfortunate. But you're already almost through it. The energy is gaining momentum. So you're coming to the end. And when you get to the end, it's a win-win. So there is new opportunities coming for you. Just because this is not the one, it doesn't mean there's not something beautiful out there for you. Now, let's see what the star seeds have to add. So you get vision. Trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul. Okay? So whatever it is you want, trust that you can create that vision and manifest it. You're also given intuition. Trust your intuition. It's been guiding you to the answers you seek, okay? So your intuition is functioning. It's taking you to this night of coins. It's taking you to the opportunity. You're going to get through this. Now, what else is there from the star seeds? You get gratitude. Universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you. So whatever it is that's ending, you still need to remember to be grateful for what it's starting. You know, bring your gratitude to the table and that is going to help. All right. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number three with the fluorite. Your first message of the reading is to find peace within. So look inside yourself, find the peace that you're looking for from inside yourself because that's where peace comes from. It comes from inside you. All right, now let's take a look at your yes or no. You can hold your question in your mind, ask it aloud of your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Now, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the cards, yes or no, to the questions of group number three. All right, so, ooh, we start with the seven of coins and the palace of cups, the queen of swords, the ten of wands, and finally, the five of cups. All right, so this looks like a yes to whatever you ask, Tarot, but there is some overwhelmed feelings in your yes, and there is the looking at what you've lost versus what you still have. 
you have put in your determination and your hard work and you're going to reap the rewards of that with the seven of coins. The palace of cups talks about looking to your emotions and really, you know, spending some time figuring out what you want. The queen of swords talks about taking action. So you're going to be taking action. You're going to be like, you got a yes to whatever you asked Tarot, but then you have this 10 of wands and this five of cups. The 10 of wands is an overwhelming feeling. So yes, whatever you asked, but there's some overwhelmed feelings in it that you're going to have to deal with. And there may be looking at what you've lost versus what you still have that you can do. I mean, that you can deal with. We'll, we'll take a look and see what uh, moonology has to add for these cards to see how maybe we can step out of it. But, uh, but you did get a yes to whatever you asked tarot. It just comes with some overwhelmed feelings and the possibility of looking at what you lost. Now, let's take a look and see what the angels have to add to your reading. So for the best benefit of group number three, please. Kindness, all right. So you're being asked for kindness. You're also being told that kindness is being spread out for you. So, you know, just focus on the kindness. It's gonna help you get through that overwhelmed feeling. Now, the spirit guides, that, that crystal card says, find peace within. So they are being told to find their own peace inside themselves. And there's lots of kind of more difficult emotions. So what is there to add to that peace they can find within themselves? All right, you will find some peace by being of service. So be of service to your fellow human and it's, it's gonna bring in some peace for you. You're gonna find peace inside yourself. Now, from Moonology, I would like to take a look at the Ten of Wands and the Five of Cups. So, for the Ten of Wands, how do they step out of this overwhelmed feeling? All right, you hold your vision. So, whatever it is you're trying to manifest, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, whatever it is you're trying to do, you hold that vision and it's going to help you not be so overwhelmed. Now, for this Five of Cups, for the looking at what they've lost... You and your loved ones are safe. Okay, so don't worry about the safety of you and your loved ones, whether it's financial, whether it's, you know, material, whether, you know, whatever it is. You guys are safe. You guys are protected. So everything's going to be okay, and you're going to take the right action. Now, I would like to see Queen of the Moon Oracle for the Queen of Swords, please. So this taking action that you're going to be doing, the strength that you have, you're overcoming your fears, okay? This Queen of Swords is you overcoming your fears. You may feel afraid inside as you step into whatever action you're going to need to take in this situation, but look how she is controlling everything there is to be afraid of in this card. You can control the fear around you. You are going to be okay. There is, there's definite good things coming for you. You're going to have to take action to get them. Now, for the seven of coins, you get self-love. All right, so you're putting in your hard work and determination. You're going to reap the rewards of your hard work, but you need some self-love to kind of measure things out. So just take it as it resonates. Do something nice for yourself. You need some self-love. And I would also like Queen of the Moon for this Palace of Cups, where they need to meditate and figure out what they really, truly want. All right, you get creation. You are the creator of your universe. You are the manifester of your universe. You can put whatever you want into your existence. So really be creative with your manifestations. Figure out what you want. And it's going to help you to, to manifest exactly the life you want. Now for kindness, this kindness over here, you get spirit guide. All right, so your spirit guides are pouring out kindness on you. They're gonna help you through these more difficult emotions. And you can just remember that you and your loved ones are safe. You hold that vision for what it is you're trying to manifest. You did get a yes to whatever you asked, Harold. So while there are some more difficult emotions and things you'll have to go through, in your yes, it, you did get a yes to whatever you asked. Now, let's take a look at what the star seeds. Okay, and one more. All right, so you start with free spirit. 
To be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. Then you get transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. That's going to help you overcome that fear. And finally, you get light. It's time to reveal your radiant light to the world. All right, so do not be afraid of things not working out for you and your family. You are taken care of. You and your loved ones are safe. There is a kindness coming out to you from your spirit guides, and they just want you to reveal your light to the world. You are this queen of swords right here. You can take action. You are strong and can do whatever you need to in the situation that you're in. So overcome this fear, transcend your mind's limitations, and let your light shine. And please, self-love. Take care of yourself. You deserved to be loved by you. All right, that is all I have for group number three. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number four with the turquoise. Your first message of the reading is to prioritize your health. So yeah, take it as it resonates. I am absolutely not a doctor. Um, I am an intuitive tarot reader. <laughs> But, uh, but if you believe you need to see a doctor, then you definitely should. And, uh, and yeah, just take whatever resonates. Now, let's take a look and see whether you get a yes or no to your question. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the cards, yes or no, to the questions of group number four. Ooh, okay. We start with the Eight of Swords, so a feeling like you can't move. Uh, let's take a look at what's next. Ace of Cups. All right, so a new beginning. Ten of Cups. Very nice. All right, very good. Ooh, Knight of Wands. And what's the final outcome? Seven of Wands. Okay, all right, I'll take it. All right, so this looks good. This looks like a yes to whatever you ask, Tarot. I was really concerned when we started with the Eight of Swords here because it's a feeling of, you know, being like you can't move, like you're restricted. Like some of you may even like have physical limitations right now from, you know, from something. So again, prioritize your health. You know, go to your doctor's appointments that you need to go to. Make sure you get whatever help you need to get. Um, you do have a brand new beginning coming, which is beautiful. And it's an emotional beginning because it's the Ace of Cups. So it's something that's going to really, you know, be emotional for you. And it's, it's good. Like, it's a good beginning. It leads to the Ten of Cups, which is a happy home life. It is, you know, family being together and things working well in the home. It can even be a new home move for some of you. So some of you are asking, will I move? And, you know, will I, will I get to move this year? Will I get to move next year? And the answer is yes. You know, this is definitely a new home move for some of you. Now, some of you are asking about romance as well. You've got the Knight of Wands coming out. That is a whirlwind romance. It is, you know, poof and... You know, all of a sudden you're in this passionate relationship. Now, if you're already in a relationship, you know, take what resonates for you. But some of you are asking about relationships and, you know, what will my next re relationship be like? Um, will, you know, will my next relationship be with this person? And while it doesn't necessarily look like a soulmate relationship, it is definitely fiery and uh, worth worth it. So, you know, it is, it's the Knight of Wands. It's a, it's a wonderful, passionate romance. Now, the final outcome was the Seven of Wands. So, so you did get a yes to whatever you, whatever you asked, Tarot. This Seven of Wands is yes, but you have to fight for it. Okay. Yes, you can have what you want, but you have to fight for it. You have to go for it. You have to take whatever action you need to take to make it happen but you're going to win. 
Like you're assured to win because his wand is so much brighter than all the other wands. So you will win where you put your energy. Now let's take a look at what the angels have to add for group number four. So angels, for the best benefit of group number four. Seek enlightenment. All right. So you're told to seek enlightenment, you know, really go inside yourself, you know, figure out what's in your heart, follow your gut, you know, take with what you can from your connection to the divine and really seek enlightenment. So, you know, figure out what your next step is because you have some action you need to take here. So you can also ask your spirit guides, ask your angels, ancestors, that sort of thing for guidance, and they're going to give it to you. Now, this prioritize your health, spirit guides. Um, what is there to say about that? Have an attitude of gratitude. All right, you need to be thankful for what is good health-wise, okay? You need to be thankful for your good health if you're in good health. And still, you know, make sure you go, you know, do your health appointments and whatnot. But, but have an attitude of gratitude for your health. Prioritize it. Make sure that you are emitting that gratitude because that will draw back more things to be grateful for and your, your health will, you know, go the right direction. Again, not a doctor. So, you know, there's a disclaimer on all of my videos, but uh, I feel the need to, to say it just because I, I'm not a doctor. But, uh, but I do strongly believe that if you put gratitude out there for your health, it will bring more good health. Now, let's take a look at this Eight of Swords from Oenology. So the Eight of Swords was being trapped. It was the feeling of being trapped, feeling like you can't move, feeling like you can't get out of the situations that you're in. And Moonology says, bring love into the situation. All right. So that's how you move. That's how you get out. Whether it's love of somebody else, love of yourself, you know, you need to bring love into the situation. Now, I would like to see what Queen of the Moon has to say for this Ace of Cups, because that is such a beautiful card. It's a brand new beginning that is, you know, something emotional for you, and you get balance. All right, so you've been through some stuff, okay? You started out with the Eight of Swords, so you've been through some stuff. This is balancing you. There's good things coming in to balance it out. So believe that the good things are coming. Now, this Ten of Cups is also brilliant. It is wonderful home life. Let's see what Queen of Attraction. Ooh. So you are attracting this beautiful Ten of Cups to you. And it, you're like you're manifesting it. And you know what? I, I will also do Queen of the Moon for the Knight of Wands because that was that whirlwind romance that may not be the one, but it's definitely a good one, you know? Um nourishment. All right. So maybe it's nourishment for your soul, this romance here. Maybe it's, you know, reminding you that you are a wonderful, attractive being that is worthy of love and your own self-love. So nourish yourself with this romance. Now let's see what the spell casting Oracle has to say for the seven of wands, because that's you taking action. That's you fighting for what you want, so you get what you want. Um, like I said, this is a yes, whatever you know, whatever you ask, Tarot. If I haven't mentioned it, it's still a yes. Now, the Seven of Wands. Willpower. All right, you have the willpower to take whatever action you need to take to bring whatever it is you're asking Tarot about into your life. So you have the willpower. You can do it. The beginning is there. It's balancing out. Now, you know what? I also want a, uh, a spellcasting oracle for that Seek Enlightenment card. So let's take a look at that. Ooh, fertility. All right. So again, you know, some of you... Some of you are asking those, uh, those pregnancy questions. And... Like I said in the beginning, 
if, if you believe you need to see a doctor, you need to see a doctor. So go see a doctor. But some of you, yes, your, your fertility is, uh, is good. You know, this is, you know, confirmation for you that, uh, that you will be bringing a life into this world at some point in your future. You know, this is saying that, that, that you will. So congratulations. Now let's see what the star seeds have to add. Okay. So from the star seeds, please. Advancement. A strong energy is propelling you forward. Follow the stirrings of your heart. All right. So bring love into the situation. Follow your heart. It's going to bring you into this balance, this new beginning here. Now, what else from the star seeds? Love. Live your truth and share the love that's in your soul. All right. Yeah. Share your love. It's going to bring you this happy home life. And, and you are attracting it. So just share your love with the universe. All right, I want one more. Inner worlds. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. Okay, so you've got to bring your inner world into this wonderful peace. Like, look how peaceful this fertility is. And this, I mean, like, for those of you where this is not anything to do with pregnancy, and there's lots of you where this is nothing to do with pregnancy, this has to do with, you know, your situation being fertile for you to make whatever action you need to make and it'll move forward and advance you. You need to make sure you keep your willpower strong and your focus on what you want. Focus on it already coming to you because it is. Your external world will just manifest it. So just use that manifestation power. It is very fertile for you right now and seek enlightenment from the divine. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with me today, group number four. Good luck and please take care of yourself in whatever way you deem appropriate. All right. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number five with the appetite card. You are told to get out of your own comfort zone, okay? You need to get out of your comfort zone and really do what, uh, what you're wanting to. Some of you are desiring to do something and you're just, you're not acting. So get out of your comfort zone and, and take those actions that you need to. Now, let's take a look at your yes or your no. So you can hold your question in your mind. Ask your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, the divine, whomever you wish. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly yes or no for group number five. Ooh, you start with the Page of Wands. Lots of you talking about reunions. The sun, beautiful. All right, growth, definite positivity. All right, Palace of Swords, there's you taking that action, getting out of that comfort zone. That Palace of Swords is talking about you taking action. Now, ooh, Ace of Coins, so beautiful. All right, and the final outcome, Ten of Coins, awesome. All right. This is an absolute beautiful, brilliant yes. It is, you know, the Page of Wands talks about reunion. So some of you are talking about, will I get back with him or her? And the answer is, is yes, you will. You'll have a reunion with them. So it's going to be great. The sun is all this growth and just positivity and energy that surrounds whatever you're asking Tarot about. The Palace of Swords talks about you taking action. So you will be taking action. You're going to need to get out of your comfort zone to take that action. But you know where the action needs to go. Now, the Ace of Coins talks about a brand new beginning in resources, something material, possibly a job, possibly a career. It is a, a new beginning that is financial in nature or resource in nature. And then your final outcome was the Ten of Coins, which is abundance. It's just having all that you need, all that you want. Like, just look at all the, the coins in the card. It's, it's abundance. It's having this golden 
abundance. So yeah, you got an absolute yes to whatever you asked, Tarot. Now let's take a look and see what the angels have to add to your reading. So angels, using the angel inspiration deck, please, for the best benefit of group number five. All right. Faith. All right, you're being told you need to have faith. If I said all of this beauty and wonderfulness is coming to you and you're like, yeah, maybe my intuition was off and I chose the wrong one. You know, that is not faith. <laughs> you need to have faith that you are drawing this beautiful, beautiful thing towards you. Whatever it is that you're asking Tara about, whatever it is that you want, whatever you're trying to manifest, you are drawing it towards you. And you need to have faith that you are so that you can manifest it because it is, it's in your future. It's beautiful. Now, spirit guides, for the get out of your comfort zone they got with the appetite card, let's take a look and see kind of what the spirit guides have to add to that information. Take responsibility for your actions. All right, that's your good actions and your bad actions. So you need to get out of your comfort zone and you need to take responsibility for what you're doing. You need to decide that you're going to do whatever this action is. You know what? I would like to see Queen of the Moon for the Palace of Swords, please. This is all so beautiful that, uh, that I just, I want to start with Queen of the Moon. Now for the Palace of Swords peace. All right. So your action will bring you peace. Whatever action you need to take, whether it's telling someone you love them, whether it is putting yourself out there for that new career that you want, whether it's taking a chance, a leap of faith, whatever action it is, and you know what action you need to take. Like, you know what gets you out of your comfort zone. You understand what's going on with this reading more than I do it's going to bring you peace. Okay. The action that you're going to do is going to bring you peace. Now I would like queen of the moon for the sun, please. Abundance. All right. Yeah, no, there's definite abundance here. Lots of you talking about money, lots of you talking about jobs and careers and all of that. And there's, there's tons of abundance. It's, it's going to be fantastic. Now let's see. I think I want to do the spell casting oracle for the page of wands because that is a reunion of some kind for many of you and i'd like to see what there is in this reunion so from the spell casting oracle please justice all right so balance justice this is a you know it's being fair that you're getting a second chance in this reunion you know, some of you, it's, it's fair that like, it's, that's how the universe is making things fair for you. So you're, you're getting a beautiful reunion with somebody. Now for the ace of coins and the 10 of coins, let's take a look at moonology. Let's see what moonology has to add. So for this new beginning that is material, financial in nature, you get conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. All right, so you can see where this new beginning is for you. You just, like, it's right there. It's at, it's at you're on the cusp of it. You've, you've got it. Now, for this abundance, this wonderful abundance, what do you need to release? All right, so you're being told that you need to release something to bring in your abundance. It could be that you need to release your a, a fear of wor worthiness like your lack of worthiness you are absolutely worthy of whatever you're trying to manifest okay you are a wonderful spirit being having a human experience and whatever you need to release so that you can let your abundance come in let go of it now let's see for faith i would also like a spell casting oracle for faith so healing. All right. So you need, your faith will be healing for you, especially with regards to your manifestations. All right. Now this healing, you need to really believe that it's possible. You need to believe that you're worthy of all of this beauty because you are. 
you know, there is abundance and peace and justice and you're, you're worthy of every last bit of it. What's, what's this say? Transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. All right. So you are a magnificent being, whether or not you know it. Really let your mind take you to this beautiful place. Now, let's see what else. Strength. You are being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. Yes, you absolutely got a yes to whatever you ask, Tarot. So that's wonderful. And then you get no limitations. You are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is much for you to share. Yeah, there is. There's so much for you to share. And you've got this abundance coming in for you. It is beautiful and wonderful, and I'm so glad I got to be part of your reading. So thank you for being with me today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.